Hello fellas, and you're looking at my TV, and you're looking at an old game look. Look at the console we're running it on. Let's just get the flash on the camera. You find her. Look at this. Anybody know this symbol? Hang on. Where is it? Let's have a look here. Atari. This is an original 1970s Atari 2600. Six switch version. Now sadly the power supply for this is no longer working, but we've got a spare, we've got a hot spare there that's doing it pretty well. So nothing to worry about there. But we have a game in here at a minute. Well look at that. The reason why it's called a six switch is because the switches are all lined up on the top of the console. Difficulty A and B, select, reset, power, off, on, colour black and white, or in this case music on and off, and difficulty A and B, or A and B whichever way around that would be. Now, there are three versions of this console that exist that I know of. This is the original with the six switches mounted to the top. Now they brought out a version of this that looked the same, apart from the difficulty AB switches were moved to here, where the joystick ports are. There were switches built into the joystick ports, well not into the ports, but into the, into the back panel here next to the ports. And there's the second port, there's the first port. The switches would have been built onto this back panel here, somewhere on either side of the joysticks, leaving us with just those two, power and colour, and these two, reset and select, on the top. So this machine is before, probably 1982, I think, this is one of the original ones. I'm going to show you this thing in action. Here's a cartridge. Let's have a look what we've got here. Moon Patrol. Might have got it the wrong way around actually. Oh no, I think it was the right way around like that actually. Yeah, I think that's the right way round. Moon Patrol. Now, obviously, we can't really show you much of what's here because I haven't got much time. Well, here's my collection of cartridges that we have. Oh, there's the, there's the joystick we're gonna use with it. That thing, quite a good joystick actually. Um, it's off an old Commodore 64. I was gonna fit this back in here because I keep my cartridges in an old biscuit tin. I've only got 24 of them, and they're not hard to keep, so I thought I would show you one of my favourite games. Star Master. Now this might not work, but what you generally do <coughs> with a console like this Take hold of the carriage, and you line that end of it up. You can see the printed circuit board there. That lines up with the, the hole in the centre. Before we start, <laughs> blow any dust out of the carriage. You line the carriage up, and push it hard. It's now in. Hopefully, when I fire up the TV, Now, I'm going to try and demonstrate this game. I'm going to turn the light off. We don't need the light. I can just show you the screen. 
cut the light off in this room actually there's my Mac over there for those who've seen it before running Mac OS 10 there now I'm gonna try viewfinder image tap to focus flash on button elapsed time off on off button right here's the screen image Here's the game. Now, I'm gonna try and show you this as best I can with what I have. So what you're gonna see in the center of the screen, you can see the flying stars. And at the bottom, you can see that there is a number of things which will change as the game goes on. You see you've got E there for energy. That's the maximum energy. The D is for damage. I'm gonna start the game. And there's the crosshair in the center. That's what we're using to gauge where we're going. Now I'm going to change the view, I'm going to move the difficulty switch and now you can see the view has changed to show a layout of enemy craft. Now using this scope I can line up with an enemy, that one there, and press fire. Now the bottom there has turned red, indicating, I'll get rid of him. He's a big devil. Now you'll see that that now starts to flash. That indicates that the enemy is approaching. Oh boy. Here goes nothing. Whoa, he just took me out. Now if anybody's epileptic, don't watch this video because uh oh, we've lost problem. We've got a problem. Oh, we've lost our walk. That's nice. Let's see if I can do this. Looking at the screen, get him focused there, and see if I can show you what's actually happening. I'm trying to see if I can get a kill. actually quite hard to do. Not going to be accurate with this. I killed him. So what you would... Right. What you can do is you can go back here. And we're going to try and do this to show you how this works. I'm going to line up with the that one. The screen now turns blue. We're going to go to Mothership and repair our craft because right now our craft is in serious need of fixation. Oh boy, yes it is. So yeah, this is hard to do. This little guy missed it. What you've got to do is get that to line up with your ship. Not easy. Not easy at all. But we're going to get it. There he goes. I'm lined up. And if I want, I could go back out and kill some more enemy. There's all sorts of games for this console, um, not including, not limited to um, games such as Pole Position. That's a driving game. We like that one. It's cool. I haven't got much time to show yet, but I'll see if how much time we have got. I'll count because it won't. It won't. Elapsed time. Nine minutes, 28 seconds. Okay, we're going to do a part two, I think, because um, I can show you a couple more games. And I will be back in a minute.